Today we shall understand about moments, skewness and kurtosis. Moments. moments are used to describe the peculiarities of a frequency distribution. Using moments, we can measure the central tendency of the data, their scatter that is dispersion, asymmetry and the pickedness of the curve. First four moments are enough to describe the basic peculiarities of the data. We have raw moments and central moments. Raw moments are moments about assumed mean. They are denoted by mu i dash. While central moments are moments about mean. They are denoted by mu i. Now let us see at the formulas of central moments and raw moments for ungrouped data. We shall first understand about the central moments. The first central moment is given by mu 1 is equal to sigma x minus x bar upon n. Now you have to consider over here it was central moment so it is about mean so we have taken sigma x minus x bar and n stands for the number of observation. Second moment is mu 2 is equal to sigma x minus x bar square upon n. Third central moment is mu 3 sigma x minus x bar cube upon n. Fourth central moment mu 4 is equal to sigma x minus x bar raised to 4 upon n. These are the four central moments. Now we shall have a look about four raw moments. The first raw moment mu 1 dash is equal to sigma x minus a upon n. You can see it is a raw moment. It is about assume mean about a. So it is x minus a and again n stands for the number of observation. Second raw moment is mu 2 dash is equal to sigma x minus a whole square upon n. Mu 3 dash that is the third raw moment is sigma x minus a whole cube upon n and the fourth raw moment mu 4 dash is equal to sigma x minus a raised to 4 upon n. Now we shall look about the formulas for the group data. First four central moments now. The first central moment mu 1 is equal to sigma f bracket multiplied by x minus x bar upon n. The second central moment mu 2 is equal to sigma f multiplied by bracket x minus x bar square upon n. Third central moment mu 3 is equal to sigma f multiplied by bracket x minus x bar cube upon n. And the fourth central moment mu 4 is equal to sigma f x minus x bar raised to 4 upon n. Now we shall look at the first four raw moments for the group data. The first raw moment mu1 dash is equal to sigma f multiplied by x minus a upon n. Second raw moment mu2 dash is equal to sigma f x minus a whole square upon n. The third raw moment mu3 dash is equal to sigma f x minus a whole cube upon n. And the fourth raw moment is equal to sigma f multiplied by x minus a whole raised to 4 upon n. We should consider over here n as a total of frequency. The few notes for this. The first central moment is always 0 that is mu1 equal to 0. The second central moment indicates the variance of the frequency distribution. Now the Shefford's correction. In group frequency distribution while calculating moments we assume that the frequencies are concentrated at the center of class intervals. However, the assumption is not true in practice and some error called the grouping error enters into the calculations of moments. W. F. Shefferts have given approximate correction to estimate moments. The first few measured and corrected moments about the mean are then related as follows. Mu2 corrected is equal to mu2 minus h square upon 12. Mu3 corrected is the same that we get is equal to mu3. Mu4 corrected is equal to mu4 minus half h square multiplied by mu2 plus 7 upon 240 h raised to 4 where h is the class interval. Now skewness a fundamental task in many of the statistical analysis is to characterize the location 
and variability of a data set. A further characterization of the data includes skewness and kurtosis. Measure of dispersion tells us about the variation of the data set, while skewness tells us about the direction of variation of the data set. Skewness is a measure of symmetry or more precisely the lack of symmetry. A distribution or data set is symmetric if it looks the same on the left and the right of the center point. If in a distribution, the value of variables are distributed such that frequencies are equal at equal distances on either side of the central value, the distribution of values is said to be symmetrical about the central value. In the case of symmetrical distribution, the two tails are equal length. In the case of asymmetrical distribution, one tail is longer than the other. If the left tail is longer than the right tail, the distribution is said to be negatively skewed. In the figure, you can see the left tail is longer compared to the right and also you can see mode is greater than median is greater than mean. If the right tail is longer than the left tail, the distribution is said to be positively skewed. In the figure, you can see the right tail is elongated and also you can see mean is greater than median is greater than mode. Now, measures of skewness. To find out the direction and the extent of asymmetry in the data, statistical measure of skewness are employed. This measures can be absolute or relative. The absolute measure of skewness tells us the extent of asymmetry and whether it is positive or negative, while relative measure is used for comparison. We shall now look at the coefficient of skewness given by Carl Pearson. Skewness SK is equal to mean minus mode. Coefficient of skewness is equal to mean minus mode whole divided by standard deviation. If mode is ill-defined, then skewness SK is equal to 3 multiplied by mean minus median. And coefficient of skewness is equal to 3 bracket mean minus median whole divided by standard deviation. Same way, we shall also consider the coefficient of skewness by Bowles. Skewness SK is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M and coefficient of skewness is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M whole divided by Q3 minus Q1. Now skewness using moments. Carl Pearson has given measure of skewness using second and the third central moment defined as skewness equal to beta 1 equal to mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube. Coefficient of skewness is equal to gamma 1 equal to root of beta 1. Now kurtosis. Kurtosis is a parameter that describes the shape of random variables probability distribution. Kurtosis characterizes the relative pickedness or the flatness of the distribution compared to the normal distribution. In the figure, we can see general forms of kurtosis. There are three different curves you can see in the graph. First, the leptocurtic curve having the maximum peak, the mesocurtic curve also called as a normal curve which is a moderate size and the platycurtic curve which is a flat type. A picket curve is called a leptocurtic curve, an intermediate picket curve which is neither flat topped nor picked is known as normal or mesocurtic curve. A flat topped curve is called platycurtic curve. Now kurtosis using moments. Carl Pearson has given measure of kurtosis using second and fourth central moment defined as kurtosis equal to beta 2 equal to mu 4 upon mu 2 whole square. Coefficient of kurtosis is equal to gamma 2 equal to beta 2 minus 3. For a mesocurtic curve, beta 2 is equal to 3 or gamma 2 equal to 0. For leptocurtic curve, beta 2 greater than 3 or gamma 2 greater than 0. For platycurtic curve, beta 2 is less than 3 or gamma 2 is less than 0. Now let us understand this with an example. The frequency distribution of heights of 100 college students is as follows. You can see in the first row is the height of the college students 141 to 150, 
151 to 160 and so on up to 181 to 190 centimeter. The second row represents the number of students in each class. That is there are 5 students in the class 141 to 150, 16 students in the class 151 to 160 and so on. The question is to find skewness and kurtosis of the distribution using moments and we have to interpret it. We shall solve this by using moments and using the following table. In the table, the first column is the height that is given in the data 141 to 150, 151 to 160 and so on. The second column represents the number of students that is 5, 16, 56, 19, 4 which is again given in the data. We will represent it by F, frequency F. The third column we will have to prepare that is called the mid value column which is denoted by X. For the first class 141 to 150, the mid value is 141 plus 150 divided by 2. So it comes to 145.5. For the second class 151 to 160, the mid value will be 151 plus 160 divided by 2. That comes to 155.5 and so on. The fourth column is fx, which we will calculate for calculating the mean. So fx is nothing else but the column 2 multiplied by column 3. For the first class, the frequency f is 5, the mid value x is 145.5. So multiplying 5 and 145.5, we will get fx that is 727.5. Similarly, for other classes also, fx value can be obtained. The total of fx is 16,560 while the total of frequency comes to 100. Using this two, we can calculate x bar which is given below, sigma fx upon sigma f that comes to 16560 divided by 100 and that comes to 165.60. After fx, we shall calculate x minus x bar. The first value of x is 145.5 and x bar is 165.60. So 145.5 minus 165.6 gives us minus 20.1. Similarly, 155.5 minus 165.6 gives us minus 10.1 and so on. All other values of that column can be obtained. The next column is F multiplied by X minus X bar. So we can say it is nothing else but a frequency multiplied by the column X minus X bar. For the first class, the frequency is 5 and x minus x bar is minus 20.1. Multiplying 5 with minus 20.1, we will get it as minus 100.5 and so on. We can calculate for other classes also. Similarly, the columns like f multiplied by x minus x bar square, next column f multiplied by x minus x bar cube and last f multiplied by x minus x bar raised to 4 can be obtained. We will find out the total of each of this column for finding out the central moments. The first four central moments are, we know the formula already, mu1 is sigma f multiplied by x minus x bar upon n. In the previous table we have seen sigma f multiplied by x minus x bar was 0 and n stands for the frequency total. So mu1 will be 0 upon 100 that is 0. Mu2 sigma f multiplied by x minus x bar square upon n. So this is equal to 7099 upon 100 that comes to 70.99. So we can say second central moment is 70.99. Third central moment sigma f multiplied by x minus x bar is to 3 upon n. From the table we put the value which is minus 7129.8 divided by 100 and that is equal to minus 71.3. So the third central moment comes to minus 71.3. Fourth central moment is sigma f multiplied by x minus x bar raised to 4 upon n. Again putting the value from the table, this is equal to 1792425.97 divided by 100 and that comes to 17924.26. Now, Using this four central moments, we shall find out the skewness. So skewness beta 1 is equal to mu 3 square upon mu 2 cube. That is equal to minus 71.30 whole square divided by 70.99 whole cube, which comes down to 0.014. Here you can see that mu 3 is a negative. So the given distribution is a negatively skewed distribution. 
we shall now find out kurtosis kurtosis beta 2 is equal to mu 4 upon mu 2 square and that is equal to 17924.26 divided by 70.99 square this is equal to 3.56 so here beta 2 is greater than 3 so it is a leptocurtic curve let us summarize the whole chapter moments are used to describe the peculiarities of a frequency distribution using moments we can measure the central tendency of the data their scatter that is dispersion asymmetry and the pickedness of the curve skewness is a measure of symmetry or more precisely the lack of symmetry a distribution or data set is symmetric if it looks the same to the left and right of the center point a distribution can be positively skewed negatively skewed or symmetric kurtosis characterizes the relative pickedness or flatness of a distribution compared to a normal distribution a distribution curve can be platycurtic mesocurtic or leptocurtic thank you